back to another video. Have you ever heard about 80 and 100 weight threads? These ultra fine threads are totally game changers when it comes to piecing, applique, quilting, and even bobbin thread. Let's see what an 80 weight and 100 weight thread look like in comparison to a regular 50 weight thread. You can see that they are much finer. Wonderfill manufactures these threads from cottonized polyester. This means the threads are strong and have the stretch removed from them, making them as easy to sew with as cotton. We always recommend a needle size of 70-10 or 80-12 when working with these threads. A bigger needle will punch a hole that's too large for the thread, so the thread will be sitting in a hole that's too large for it to fill, resulting in an unattractive stitch. The thread will also move around more in the larger eye, so a smaller eye will give you more control of the thread. Choose a needle depending on the technique you'll be using or the fabric choice. For most general sewing, a universal needle works just fine. If you're quilting, opt for a quilting needle. If you're sewing with fusibles, choose a super non-stick needle, as these needles will help the thread glide through the sticky material and reduce friction. You won't normally need to adjust your tension with these threads and can often leave your machine on its regular tension settings. However, if you find that your bobbin thread is pulling to the top, that means you'll need to loosen your top tension. If your top thread is pulling to the bottom, it means the bottom tension is too tight. Always sew a test piece on a scrap piece before sewing on your actual project. Consider your bobbin thread when sewing with super fine threads. We recommend DecoBob, an 80 weight cottonized polyester as your ideal bobbin thread. It will greatly reduce tension problems and help seams to lay flatter since the thread doesn't take up a lot of space. This is especially important if you're using a super fine thread in your needle. Using a much thicker thread in the bobbin can lead to bulky seams, tension issues, and a poor stitch quality. There are some instances where it's okay to use a 100 weight both in the top and the bobbin. This is Invisifil, a 100 weight cottonized polyester thread, and it's just a little finer than DecoBob. Because it's thinner, it won't be quite as strong, but that's okay if you're stitching something decorative, like a machine embroidery design. For anything that will require more utility, for example, free motion quilting using Invisifil in the top, then use DecoBob in the bobbin, since your quilting will hold up better. When winding these threads on a bobbin, try to go slower if you can. If you are winding your own bobbins with this fine thread, take care not to overfill your bobbins, as the fine thread will wind on tightly and may distort your bobbin. Just back off before your bobbin is completely full. You will still fit a lot of thread on your bobbin because the thread is so fine. If you can, choose bobbins that have come pre-wound with DecoBob. These are available in standard sizes class 15, size L, and size M. They always come perfectly wound from the factory and hold more thread than when you wind a bobbin yourself, so you'll have the benefit of a long-lasting bobbin that always has perfectly consistent tension. If you are sewing anything with a single stitch, we recommend using a single stitch plate on your machine. Single stitch plates have just one little hole in the middle and they are not made for any side-to-side -side stitching. This will give you more control over your thread because it will only be directed through this hole. A thread plate made for decorative stitches or any side-to-side -side stitching will allow the thread to move around more. So the back side of your stitching may not look as good. This can be true for any thread, but it is more noticeable with finer threads. This is especially important if you're doing machine embroidery because of the speed of the stitching. A single stitch plate doesn't always come with a machine, but it can be purchased separately. They are just as easy to change and replace as a needle is. When setting the stitch length on your machine, the number displayed is in units of millimeters. So if your stitch length is set at two, it means you'll have a two millimeter stitch length. When working with these super fine threads, we recommend you drop the stitch length down to 1.8, especially if you're doing foundation paper piecing.
Because the thread is smaller, a shorter stitch length will help a great deal for making strong, firm stitches. You'll notice the difference with foundation paper piecing as pulling the paper out won't distort your stitching as much as it would if you had a regular stitch length. So here are some tips and tricks. If you're having troubles, the first place to start checking should be your needle. If you're already using the correct needle size, think about when you last changed it. Most regular needles need to be changed after eight hours of sewing. A dull needle will not pierce correctly and will need to be replaced. A needle that has a burr on it can also cause thread breaks. You can also check that the needle is pushed in all the way as otherwise it will be too long and cause skip stitches or thread breaks. A bent needle can also knock out the timing on your machine as the bobbin won't grab the top thread properly and miss. This will also result in skipped stitches. Because Deco Bob is polyester, it's a very strong thread and is actually stronger than a 60 weight cotton. This is why we recommend it as your go-to utility piecing and bobbin thread. As the thread is much finer, it reduces tension problems and makes piecing look flatter and more professional. It will also be easier to line up your patterns and points. Invisifil is our answer to monofilament threads. You know, that fishing wire thread that's often a pain to sew with. Invisifil is Wonderfill's finest thread line at a 100 weight. Because it's so thin, it makes appliques lay super flat. The thread also just disappears into the fabric, which is great for any application where you don't want the thread to show. Apart from applique, it's also amazing for stitching the ditch, so if you fall off your path, it won't even be seen. Invisifil is also perfect for any quilt where you need a thread to blend across multiple colors. On this quilt, we used a light gray Invisifil color to quilt the entire piece but it just blends into every color. You can also use Deco Bob and Invisifil for machine embroidery and you'll find that these threads make a noticeable difference. We embroidered the same pattern using a 50 weight thread and then again with an 80 weight Deco Bob. Because the thread takes up less space, you'll see that the pattern is less thick and more visible when using Deco Bob. Invisifil is also fantastic for any smaller detailed embroidery. You can see the difference when using a 40 weight thread and how much more detail you can keep at a much smaller scale when using the 100 weight Invisifil. Have you ever used an 80 weight or a 100 weight thread in your machine? Leave a comment below if you still have questions or let us know what you'd like to see in the next video. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to subscribe and tune in for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.